In this video, we're going to look at the insertion of a peripheral cannula under ultrasound control using a sterile glove technique. The patient should be comfortable with their elbow ideally rested on a stable flat surface. The ultrasound machine needs to be preset to vascular access or superficial, and you'll be using a linear high-frequency probe similar to this. It's vital to make sure it's placed in your direct line of sight. Now, get your equipment together. You'll need a few things. Skin prep, some sterile water or my preference some sterile gel, a cannula, ideally a long one if available, an IV bung, a tourniquet, an IV Opsite 3000, some sterile gloves. And personally I also have a 3ml syringe with some local anaesthetic to instill before I put the cannula in. Look before you leap. Have a quick look for the best vein before putting on the sterile probe cover. This is the opportunity to make all necessary adjustments to the ultrasound machine such as depth, focus and gain. Disinfect the skin properly. What is recommended will vary a little bit from institution to institution. Set up your equipment. Here we see the opened glove area being used, but you could of course use a dressing pack. Note how everything is carefully opened onto the small sterile field, including the IV cannula, and in this case an 18 gauge. The IV bung and the IV Opsite 3000. A small rubbish bin should be kept nearby so that rubbish can be removed from the area efficiently. And the sterile water can be opened and placed carefully outside the sterile field. We can now see how the sterile glove is being converted into a sterile probe cover. The proximal end of the glove is efficiently ripped off, then a generous amount of gel is placed on the probe. Now insert the probe carefully into the other sterile glove. When it's safely inside, flip the fingers of the glove and pull away the wrist component of the glove to expose the covered probe. Make sure there's no bubbles on the scanning surface. Now, use the ripped base of the other sterile glove like a twisted rubber band to hold the glove and probe securely in place. Voila, a sterile probe. For the interface between the probe and disinfected skin, you can use sterile gel or even sterile water or chlorhexidine. Here we see sterile water being used. Now, let's insert that cannula under ultrasound guidance. Let's talk about the insertion technique. Firstly, be cognizant of compressing the vein. A light touch is needed. You can choose to do the out-of-plane or in-plane technique. In both cases, remember Pythagoras. If the vein is one centimeter below the probe and you enter the skin at 45 degrees with that cannula, expect to go 1.4 centimeters before you strike the vein. Here, the out-of-plane technique is shown. The beam is perpendicular to the vein in the transverse plane. Remember to start the cannula insertion slightly away from the probe. Now you can see the sharp metal cannula stylet approaching the vein, indenting its wall and finally entering it. A top tip. Keep an eye on the cannula tip by gently sliding the probe to follow it. Now the in-plane technique. Now this can be quite challenging in small veins. It's quite easy to slide off the vein with the ultrasound probe. Once you have that vein in long axis, don't move the probe. Again, we can easily see the cannula approaching the vein, indenting the wall, and entering the vein. And there is the cannula being threaded in. Success. Now, all we have to do is flush and secure the cannula. So, there you have it. The sterile glove technique. A simple and practical way to insert a peripheral IV cannula under ultrasound guidance. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful.